All right, let's go around the horn and do some final trades. You want to leave us with a, a final trade or thought? Oh, yeah, my final thought would just be I wouldn't be too negative on the world, and I don't really care what the Fed does. Ultimately, I don't think it matters for the medium to long-term trajectory. I think equities look pretty good in the U.S. You think the Fed does cut rates this month? I think they do, but I don't think they should. Okay, that's a good way of saying it. It's good to see you again. Thanks for being yeah, here. Thanks that's for Adam me. Parker. Shannon Sikosha. Uh, JP Morgan. So mentioned it before, you know, the stress tests aren't nearly as important as they were seven or eight years ago when we were actually worried about the, the, the health of the financial system. But JP Morgan is going to be returning a, a ton more capital to shareholders through dividends and buy, buybacks. And if you want to play the financial space with some headwinds, um, you do it where they're earning margin in their wealth management business, which JP Morgan does very well. Okay. Got some earnings coming up in the not too distant future mm -hmm. for the banks. Looking forward to that. Farmer Jim. Uh, Judge, you know, we talked about Alaska Airlines earlier today, but there's a reason I'm making it my final trade. If you look at this chart, I, the chart looks beautiful, but um, you look at the 200 moving day average and the 50, uh, they're about to cross in a golden cross pattern. I know there are some who will say stay in your lane, but that's one pattern that has a very good correlation with positive returns. Is, is Josh one of those that would say that? Q uh, Josh. Yeah, I just threw up in my mouth. <laughs> my stock is Goldman Sachs, and this is a stock that we mentioned the, the gap uh, after CCAR. Um, it is holding that gap. We tested the lower end of that. Um, I do, again, to reiterate, I think 208, 210, uh, this is where the stock could really explode. There's not a lot of resistance up until about 230. Uh, this is a long time in the making. Let it develop, though. Don't be the first one in the trade. Don't be early. Um, so watch for that breakout around 208. What do you got for me? Technology mid-cap synopsis, SNPS, we don't talk about it much. Why do you talk about it now? Good, strong momentum, nice fundamentals. They provide the software that goes into the chips. All right, there you go. Thank you. Dow right now uh, was down about 150. It's down 130 right now. That does it for us.